Female and male formulas. A lot of times when your health is not great, you lose your sexual or your reproductive ability. I have the male tonic, which is a general tonic for men. Uh, men also, because of the amount of animal food that's eaten, often have prostate problems. Prostate problems are directly linked to growth hormones. Now think about this for a minute. This is fun. The biggest amount of steroids and growth hormones used in America are used in animal products. You give it to a cow, they grow bigger. Bigger, more meat, more money. You give it to chickens, they lay more eggs. You give it to dairy cattle, they make more milk. Okay, so if you want to make more money in the animal industry with animal food, use growth hormones and steroids. And some people say, well, I eat only the beef from the health food store where, where there's no uh, growth hormones used and the cow's allowed to meditate for 10 minutes before they shoot a bolt through its head. Um, but think about this. The hormones that are naturally in a cow that make it grow from zero to 2,000 pounds in a year, those are alien to the human body. Look at what that's telling our body. It's saying grow, grow, grow. And what grows? tumors in our prostate and breasts and it's directly linked to animal food consumption so easy easy on that because that's causing a lot of disease we have so this is for BPH or benign prostate disease it helps you pee more um, we have a male shot uh, it stimulates all, all aspects of you being a man. I can't talk a lot about that one. Uh, female shot, same thing. You know, with the women that came in my clinic, it was always hormone imbalance, hormone imbalance, hormone imbalance. I don't care if it was puberty problems. I don't care if it was menstruation problems, painful or irregular periods. I don't care if it was PMS. Um, uh, you know what the difference is between, uh, uh, what can I say today, an Afghani terrorist and a woman with PMS? You can negotiate with a terrorist. <laughs> Uh, I can say that 98% of my patients were female, mostly models and actresses, a lot of PMS. And PMS is just hormonal imbalance, and that's what these beautiful herbs do. The three big ones in the female formula are uh, Dong Kwai, which also a similar plant grows here in California, and a billion women in China use it. And I'm not going to argue with a billion women. And also... Uh, um, uh, from the Americas, wild yam and chastry from Europe, the three great hormone balancers. If any of you women have used this, it's a miracle tonic. Uh, it brought uh, families back together, husbands back in the house, got women to get their jobs back. I mean, I cannot tell you the stories. I had women that were suicidal um, because it can be so bad. You know, if, if I used to work out in a gym here in town with all the big boys, and uh, if they took too many too much testosterone I go can I borrow that weight and they go Ugh! and they throw it at me and they go don't talk to me when I'm training well that's when your hormones are a little too high <laughs> and um, and then you go to take uh, you know your, your girl out to dinner and the, and the waiter comes up and goes where would you like to sit and I just point because I know we're going to move three times. And then, oh, the air conditioning is on my neck. It just, you know, and so when your hormones are a little low, you can't make a decision. When they're too high, you throw a 50-pound kettlebell in someone's face. It's a sensitive balance, and that's what these herbs do, is help balance the hormones. It's not rocket science. And also in the female uh, plus formula, there's diuretics, because with hormone imbalance comes bloating, uh, extracellular fluid builds up, and also anxiety, and so there's some nerve nerves to calm you down. But I can't tell you what that did in my clinic. It's just food for women, and if women can't get pregnant, it made them fertile. Uh, if women had PMS, it went away. Uh, it, it can solve it all. There's different dosages in different directions. Look in the catalog.